Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I filmed a YouTube video, but here I am. I came barefaced because you guys already know this is a skincare video. So I just came back from traveling. I was in Los Angeles and anytime I travel or I'm in a flight for a period of time, my skin ends up getting a little dehydrated. I might get a breakout or two. And that's why I came up with a routine that is so good for my skin that really helps manage those things, it manages the texture on my skin, the dryness, dehydration, and definitely those acne breakouts. So I like to do the skincare routine every time after traveling, and I feel like it really helps my skin stay clear and smooth and glowy. So if you guys wanna know what I do, keep on watching. So after being in an airport and an airplane for a period of time with the bacteria-filled air, the number one thing I like to do is cleanse my face really well. So to do that, I like to use the Luna 3 by 4 u Sweden. This facial device is amazing. It cleanses your skin down to its pores and it leaves your skin feeling so refreshed. It's a two-in-one device, so not only is it a an amazing cleansing brush, but it's also a facial massager. Um, it gives you these like T-sonic pulsations on your skin that massages your skin really well. It combats those fine lines and those wrinkles. And to cleanse your face, it's a silicone brush. So it's very hygienic because it doesn't build up the bacteria on the brush. Um, it's very easy to clean and it's very compact and lightweight. So you can easily travel with this. You can take it to the gym. You charge it one time and it gives you 650 uses, which I find so amazing. So it can also connect to an app and the app can either um, assist you with a guided cleansing um, routine or it can also show you different methods of massaging using the device. So it's a pretty cool device to have and I really love it for cleansing my skin all the way down to the pores just to feel like my skin is super clean and that's exactly what this device does. I'll take my Luna 3, add my cleanser on top with a little bit of water and just move into circular motion all over my face until I have my entire skin cleansed and polished and remove all that oil, dirt and makeup residue if there's any. Okay, so my skin feels incredible right now. It feels so smooth and tight and it is ready for a mask. So I'm gonna go in with the herbivore blue tansy this is a resurfacing clarity mask and this is just going to be amazing for your skin to help with clearing out your skin just giving it a nice glow so i'm going to apply this all over my skin and leave it on to dry sensation with this mask so it feels like it's working typically you leave this on for 20 minutes but if you have sensitive skin five to ten minutes at best so I'm probably gonna leave it on for five minutes and move on now that it's dry I can go in with a warm washcloth and take it all off So you will see you have a little bit of redness from the mask. I'm going to go in with the Jet Lag Mask now by Summer Fridays. This one is a hydrating mask. You also leave this on for 5 to 10 minutes just to give you that nice hydration that your skin was lacking after traveling. So I'm just going to put that all over my face. Make sure you hydrate while you're applying a hydrating mask. You want to get as much hydration as possible and honestly, Starts with the inside out. So you actually don't have to wash off this mask. You can just blot it with a warm washcloth all over. And then you are ready for the next step in your skincare routine. All right, so the redness will go away, so don't worry about that. Um, I'm gonna go in with the eye brightening balm. This one's by Tula, looks like this. And you just put this under your eyes. It brightens your eyes. It gives you that cooling effect as well. And you can actually wear this over and under makeup for a pick-me-up throughout the day. I don't know about you guys, but I see like an instant change. Look at that. It's literally incredible. So that's the Rose Glow and Get It by Tula. 
Now next, I like to use serums. So serums are my favorite part of any skincare routine. I'm gonna go in with a serum that I really like. It's good for cell regeneration and it helps soothe and protect the skin. So this one by Biotherm is called the Life Plank Plankton Elixir and it just feels very hydrating on the skin. So I go ahead and I apply that first. I just put it over the skin like that. When you're applying your serums, act as if you're at a spa and someone's applying it for you. Move your skin upwards like you're giving your skin a nice facial massage. It actually helps a lot with the blood circulation and the blood flow in your face. So I'm using the SkinCeuticals Fluorotin CF right now. It's a really good um, vitamin C serum. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that all over my face. Vitamin C is really good for um, environmental protection. It's good for adding antioxidants to your skin. But you have to remember that when you apply a vitamin C, you always have to make sure to apply a sunscreen for extra protection from the sun because it could actually burn your skin if you don't. And voila, so glowy, I love it. The next step is a good moisturizer. Make sure you're wearing one that is good for your skin, that is right for your skin type, and that is super hydrating. I really love this one by Lancome. It's called Absolute. And it is, um, I believe, made out of rose petals. It looks incredible. It feels so soft. It's very moisturizing. And it's really good for the skin if you have dull, uneven skin or you're looking to combat the fine lines and wrinkles. That's what this does. If you have sagging skin, it also helps with that. So I apply it all over my skin and I feel like it makes such a difference. It smells incredible, I'll tell you that much. It feels so good. Um, so I just got that on and look how glowy my skin looks. Now the last step of my skincare routine is a sunscreen. So I'm going in with this one by SkinCeuticals. This is actually a tinted sunscreen. I typically use, I've just been dirtying my shirt left, right, and center. Oh my God. <laughs> I typically use um, any sunscreen that I can find in my closet, whether it's tinted or not, but I really like this tinted one by SkinCeuticals. It gives you a, a nice, even look to your skin. So I apply that everywhere. You can never overdo it with sunscreen. It doesn't leave any white marks. It doesn't give you any photo flashbacks when you have makeup, so you're good with this sunscreen. And there we go. Ignore the boo-boo there. Now we can't forget about our lips. Our lips need to be hydrated and moisturized as well. So I'm gonna go in with this Agave by Bite Beauty. It comes with a little spoon, or you can just use your fingers to be honest. Um, you can use that to apply it all over your lips. It's a very, very moisturizing. It doesn't taste bad either. You guys, look how incredible my skin looks right now. It feels so soft, so glowy, so brand new. I just love the skincare routine for after traveling. It's really worked out for me. Or even if I just need a little pick-me-up during the week and I feel like my skin has been dull, I'll do this routine as well. Um, I just love how it makes the world of a difference for your skin. I need to go get ready because my skin is just all prepped for some good makeup, so I'll be right back. So I went for a casual look today and my makeup looks incredibly glowy. I am not wearing foundation. This is just my skin because of how well we took care of it prior to applying the makeup. It looks incredible and glowy and I'm obsessed. Let me know what you guys thought of this video and all the products I've used. And if you have any other suggestions for products that you love to use after traveling, leave them in the comment section below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.